Uh, let's see what else happened. Was there... Okay, I had the uh, the Rory versus Charlemagne. So you see, on the most recent episode, which I don't know exactly what day of the week the Rory and Maul podcast drops. Why would I? I don't listen to it. But <laughs> he sent shots to Charlemagne, too. Charlemagne's been catching a lot of shots from people recently. And he's la- in, the, in the latter half of the year... The nigga's been a target. The Breakfast religion. Club going through war right the, now, the, nigga. The it's Breakfast a, Club. They need just they, sh- yeah. They, they need some upgraded defense systems or something. Nigga. When you've been on bro, top for so long, it's like they've been waiting to take these shots at you. Bro, yeah, and I was looking bro, like there's a chink in that armor. Yeah, on both fronts. Where I don't even, I don't know, bro. So Rory kind of went at him, and pretty much it started with Tyrese. Rory always sounds like a victim. He always does. Even when he's shooting at people, he sounds like a victim. But it started with Tyrese. Um, Pretty much saying Charlemagne is this fake mental health advocate, pretty much. You know, that narrative is starting to go around a while, a lot in, as well, too. It's easy for him to say that because of what happened. Yeah, that's true. It's, you know? That's a lot easier for him to say that. So, yeah. And the thing about being a fake mental health advocate is, like, you know, he's always talked about wanting to get his mental health better. And he provides you tools to do what he did. Yeah. That don't mean he give a fuck about what Tyrese's mental state is. Yeah, yeah and, that's an- and that's another thing, too, like... Why does that seem like that's the angle people go at Charlemagne with? Is it kind of like being a preacher where, like, when you're doing something that's, when you're famous or the biggest you've ever been at something that's kind of righteous, righteous, like being a pastor or a lawyer or a doctor, something like that, maybe, let me just say with pastors. Something humane. Yeah, something humane or overall righteous. You can't do nothing bad or, like. You cannot be the preacher. Getting caught eating Sister Risha's coochie, coochie you know on saying? the goddamn yeah. yeah. So it's like, always the ones that's doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Getting so head in the confessionals. The fact that they're even like bringing that angle up, I feel like that's such a weak angle to bring up. But I guess it's an easy one too because it's the it's the one that you don't really have to prove. Right. You get like, what I'm he's saying? a mental health advocate. Look at when he was bullying people. Like just because you like therapy doesn't mean that you can't yeah, what talk the fuck? shit to somebody. Bro, and it's like honestly, like. I feel like Charlemagne has been on his mental health shit for so long. We don't even feel like it's fake at this point. Like, and we was following the nigga closely. I feel like he's been on it for so long, he's mentally fucked up. <laughs> right. That's like, how I feel. Where like, it's, it's, it's ingrained in him. Yeah, where he has yeah. to speak about it. He has an expo coming up. Like He does, yeah. Next the, month, the I mental believe. Health, mental health crazy. expo or something like that. And he's been doing it for a couple of years, so it's like, you know, you're putting money behind it. You a public advocate. Nah, he's smart. It's not his money. But going to therapy doesn't mean you don't have no longer have enemies. October seventh. October seventh. Oh shit! It's this weekend. Oh, shit. literally. Yeah. Yep. Special guest and panelist. Big sloth. I, I wonder if this is there. out of pocket. No, it's iHeart. You see that? No, oh, okay. The, the check is Solomon the God in partnership with iHeart. No, I can't read that, man. Oh yeah, mental health. Uh, mental wealth. Mental wealth, not health. <laughs> wealth and expo. The- a day of mental health plus healing education, people. In honor of mental health uh, day, October 7th. Hey, you see, he could easily flip this. But wait, go up. The, the imagery is a black woman's face. It's the side of a black woman's face, as you can see. <laughs> no, it's not. Nigga. That's a mannequin. With the crescent moon. Black women are the moon. <laughs> that is Water, a important. Mannequin. Hydration. Oh I feel like God. the more you speak about black women, the more they realize that you don't really have their best heart. You a fake advocate for black women. Oh, nah. Oh, Nigga, Styles, Styles P? P? Nah, Styles P has gone on a run where he's doing public speaking events and he's he just has. dropping jewelry. I don't know. Yeah, every, every day I see a new clip of him saying something very inspiring. Yeah. Oh, shit. I was supposed to be playing the uh, Rory clip. Let's play that clip. Yo, they we... got a lot of power. Brandon Marshall. Here. Yeah, as we go in on this. But We're the not, thing is, he, there's people going to share their stories. I'm not saying that they're experts in mental health and, you know, how to go to a therapist. Tamika Mallory. Nah, I don't, I don't know. Charlemagne. <laughs> do you think he... Go. It's just, you know, it's, 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 Drake always hits him to do this around. This is a new thing that I see. I took a plea. <laughs> I saw what you said. I heard what you said. Shout out Lord. And... You've been saying some things for a while now, and it's kind of it's getting weird thing. now. Now it's getting weird. Charlemagne did actually reply on the Breakfast Club, like we mentioned before. Um, he took a plea. Called it. But I, I figured Charlemagne was going to take a plea. He's new fake healed Charlemagne. Fake. He said that he's lying. That's his new thing that I see that he does. 
Julian did call him. I'm about to just say something, but Thank I'm you. lying. But here's the statement that he, Drake always hits him to do this around his album to get him more attention. Oh, Rory's was, a, a fan. And you know what else? Rory is you know, a fan. Yeah. And you know what else is like annoying about when Rory's shooting at somebody? It's like I can hear the uncertainty. I don't even need to, I don't the even need to see you. Yeah. I don't even need to see your face. I know you're like, I know you're like, we're doing this fake heel, Charlemagne. Man, you could tell and that. And then he's like darting around the room looking at everybody's reaction. Because you know? you, it's like he takes every step wondering that the floor is going to break. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man, you could tell that nigga worked in HR like he was that type of nigga. He's right. an HR-ass nigga, Yeah, man. HR-ass nigga, man, bro. You, you, you fuck out of here, yeah, nigga. Man. Boss the fuck up, nigga. You could tell he finds he out done, coming nigga. cards. Nigga, you're not tough enough for this shit. You're not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but so it's like he took two shots at him like that. There's another one. He gave but him two I didn't expect pokes. Charlemagne. I don't think it's it was a plea. Is, <clears throat> does, well, yeah. It's you know what I mean? Like 35 fans he has, which is... Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just, you but, know, it's, it, this is just the way... And the, the way that he attached himself to Drake's diss, which was already lame. Who, Rory? Yeah, he was like, well, you know, his 435 fans. It's like, no, that's what Drake said. And that was corny. Yeah. Don't attach yourself to a bad joke. It was just... I didn't even get... Drake has said two things I don't understand. That Chain and Tatum line in that one song... And that 435 thing. I, I don't get those two bars. Yeah, that was crazy. It's just... Neither one of those makes sense. Yeah. What if... Can we do a quick Google? So what, is, what does 435 mean? What does that represent? Um, Y'all know numerology, nigga? No. This is Drizzy we're talking about. The six guy. Yeah, it's probably astrology. It's something to do with the aligning... The oh, angel, angel numbers. Number, okay. The four. manifestation meaning suggests that your desires and goals are beginning to manifest. So you should continue to trust in the universe and maintain a positive mindset. This nigga... He dissed him with love. Well, wish him. Yeah, that sounds like a compliment. He dissed him with affirmations. That's some light skin shit. That's that's some that's some Drake shit. That's some Drake thing. That's so Drake. That is. That is. And and it's positive. It's positive. Drake says you got four hundred thirty five angels playing on you. This number often indicates you are on the right path to begin to see positive changes and progresses towards your goal. So he didn't even realize he was trying to. He was trying to diss him, but he also he also blessed. That's even more sinister. Yeah, nah. When you when you fake support somebody to diss him. It hurts even more. Yeah. Hey, man, next time y'all about to bake that pizza, put it on 435. Yeah, right. Bless that, yeah, bless that. So, I mean, yeah, so this is, you know, Rory is shooting his disses. I don't know if y'all really care to listen to the rest of them. It was pretty weird. Let's see what he has. I can guess, but we can see. Yeah. Way for Drake to finally say, all right, look, you want some attention, clearly. Well, Charlamagne hasn't been going back and forth with very many people for quite some time. Um, He's taken subs and a few shots here and there, but... He's really pulled back to this new fake-heeled Charlemagne. Do mm-hmm. you think he replies to this? Listen, man, enough of this Charlemagne slander. Let me be objective here. Do you guys <laughs> really... Listen, man. Uh-huh. Shout, oh, out Chicks, Shout out to Charlemagne slander. Man. But, uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. Anytime Rory's taking shots at somebody, who, it's just like, this shit's just so weak, bro. What Rory takes shots at niggas when they already in the fucking ER. Right. It's, yeah, yeah bro. It's no conviction. It's not, You know what bro. I mean? Like, you, like, you need some... You don't, you don't have a kid. You don't got it, kid. And, um, and it's crazy. He, he, you can obviously tell he goes through so much pain. It's, it's crazy how he can't trans, transmutate. He can't. Yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't What's figured out mean? the perfect way to uh, transform his pain into some sort yeah, of yeah to you know translate channel tra- translate his transmutation. His, yeah, I thought it was transmutation. Something like that. Transla- uh, alchemy. Tra- tra- You're making his, it harder than it has to be. Yeah, translate his pain you can't or whatever. Say but, but yeah, we were looking at this mental health expo as well too. So I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. There's really a lot of healthy headlines on this lineup. Should we be saying all these black people, these important Might as well? Because I mean, this is a power. This is a powerhouse lineup. So yeah, yeah. go down like who the fuck is Dr. So, J. Barrett? Yeah. So uh, Dr. Alfie, Alfie. Uh, African in origin. Yeah, Carson Daly. Afi. Damn, I ain't Nigga. seen Carson Daly in a minute. Uh, He's the only white person here too. Michelle Angela Williams, Rye is still around. Styles P, Angela Rye, She's still a Tiana girl. Madison, Shaka Shag- Sen- Senghor, Senghor. Senghor, Dr. Jonathan, Jonathan Lasseter, Tamika Mallory, Dr. J. Bennett, Barnett. Bar- Barnett, Brandon Marshall. He's on the sports podcast, right? The Pivot. Shout yes, out to the right, brothers. The Pivot. I don't know if they're still banded together. Dr. That Rita one woman Walker. on the right looks like Cat Williams. I'm starting to not recognize some of these people because they're look like doctors and I shit, mean you know so. we're getting further down the list they, yeah. they keep the stars up top yeah. I, I'm, where's the it's a lot of Afro where's the other rappers I'm pretty it's Styles only one rapper Styles P's the only one hmm you know rappers don't really care about the mental state of people that is true actually that's Styles P does 
Yeah. yeah. Rick Ross as well. Yes. And that's why they're called poets. Fireside chat with Charlamagne the God and Carson Daly. Spoken word. Oh, God, I would skip that section. If we had enough, like, it'd be cool if we could go for free just to see what's going on. I, this is, like, too much good shit, man. Like, go back. <laughs> Can I read some of this? Yeah, go ahead. Too much positivity. Letters to my father. Wait, no. Letters to my father. <laughs> Black men heal. These are the breakout rooms. Black youth. Young adult mental health. Feelings, families, and fun. Embracing emotions together. This might be what's needed. This might be exactly what Larry Elder was preaching about. No, no, no. Reconstructing nothing, the black family can't unit. Be what he nothing is. about this is bad. That's why the whole Charlemagne fake heel thing doesn't, uh, it don't really work just because he's not also actively out here like terrorizing niggas like he used to. Yeah. So it's like the shot doesn't even do it. So you might have a personal experience. But it was like this nigga was exposing Floyd couldn't read. That's a mental. That's a mental trauma. But, you know what I'm saying? And the like, nigga never said he was Buddha. He never said he was Buddha. And it's like we just been following him for so long. No nigga can keep up this unless the checks are hitting like that. I might be able to keep up some shit for a really long time as well. Yeah, but at the same but, time, it's like who cares? Even if it is, it's not like it's it's something bad. He stopped calling women bitches. Yeah, he's not trying to convert us to Satanism or just start you know doing voodoo or some shit. You know, and that's not bad to some people either. But you know what I mean. Hold on. Yeah. But um, what's, I don't know, man, like, <sighs> spoken word. See, you might, but you <laughs> but you might just be, t the spoken word was crazy. That's out of control. I don't want to hear no Trauma nigga. and triumph. It depends on what they got. Stories of healing in the spotlight. Like, sister, I, sister, navigating I think this is amazing. Health. I think this is amazing, but like. It's kind of like a women's empowerment, but for we, mental health. We can't judge it by that? the table of contents. We might have to go. That's we true. might have a true revelation here. Bro, you might nothing. face your anxiety. Okay, bro, we're just, we're, you know, we're ignorant niggas sometimes. Us reading this, this sounds like a terrible day. We're this, looking to make fun of it. This, yeah, this sounds like a terrible day. Like, I don't want to do this on a Saturday. I don't, personally. But there's somebody who has been waiting all year for this shit. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not, and I can't, and I can't say that this one day might change their entire year and they're waiting all year for it next year. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, AJ, we're actually healed. Yeah. So we laugh at broken people. Well, that's not true. Cause I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm healed. I would just say I use my brokenness for good. Yeah, it was and, a joke. And evil. Yeah, nah, you don't get comedy <laughs> without pain. Right, so yeah, I, how much is? Uh, can we look up the ticket price? Are these I are these tickets free. made for black people? I could have sworn it said free. Are uh, these? Yeah, yeah. This event is free and open oh, to all shit. ages. Yeah. Do you think that this is doing any damage to people? No, nah, I take that back. It's free. No, I'm thinking you know, yeah, thirty dollars, to get forty dollars. No, no. This is cool though. Yeah. No, the only thing, the only thing that I believe the whole mental health wave and it wasn't just Charlemagne pushing it Charlemagne was actually before the curve because he is started in with his book and that was before the pandemic the pandemic pushed mental health like crack Charlemagne was just ahead of the curve and I think he a little, was already he was, was al he was already there and the stimulus package the fact that the lane that you're transitioning into us being oh shit I should have said something else to block it out but us being fucking locked in the house and shit mm -hmm. like that Niggas started getting mental health days all of a sudden at work. We never got that before. You know what I'm saying? What if it became so big he felt like he had to over advocate for it? It became so big, but he was already a, he was already a, a ahead of it. Yeah, but it might have been something he was just like loosely promoting. But now he has to do a goddamn. It wasn't loosely promoting every October. His book anxiety. Yeah, you remember? But it, there's a difference writing about your anxiety. And Let's then trying at, to cure other people's anxiety once a year annually. But look, once you, I want to look at when that uh, when that book came out. Uh, what was it? Anxiety playing tricks on me. I was in high school. That's the fucking book. Nah, man. college. Yeah, it was a book by Charlemagne. Charlemagne got anxiety playing tricks on Shook me. Ones. Shook ones. Shook ones. That's what it was. It came Just out. Like what year did this come out? Fourteen dollars and ninety cents for the paperback. This nigga has. Two thousand eighteen. He, he was two years behind. He was. Two years up, but, uh, ahead of the curve, bro. This nigga book has a 4.7 rating. But yeah, he did. He kind of... 800 rating. Yeah. Bro, this book is the one that blew the fuck up. But there was... Like, this Black Privilege, that was... It was a bestseller, but that was just like... Uh, like, this is the one? That shit went crazy, bro. I thought Black Privilege did better. I think this one did better because this one tapped into a market outside of... Black Privilege was just like... Avid book readers, Charlemagne the God friend, uh, fans. Yes. The Shook Ones when it's that an came out. It was an autobiography. Yeah, it was an autobiography as well, too. When this one came out, 
This one hit the mental health circuit as well, too. Mm-hmm. So, because I remember when he put that book out and he was talking about how he would go to, like, when he would be doing those book signings at the yep. Barnes and Nobles and shit. Yeah. He's like, bro, it's, ever since that shit, it's like old people of all races. Like, my this book opened me up. My fan base has no color no more. Like, mm-hmm. it's everybody. And it's, that's mainstream I, acclaim. Yeah. And just like politician, he was, he looked at the numbers. Yeah. He looked at the numbers. He was like, shit. Nigga, the numbers go up when I talk about mental health. Exactly. And that might be natural. You you probably you probably natural gravitate towards things that work for you. And Literally. it's it's, it's kind of hard to uh at a certain point make money off of something righteous and people not accuse you of being fake in it. Like you can't like you can be a preacher, but they almost you can't be no millionaire preacher. Niggas is like like you know how like mega churches, they're like God didn't want you to have a mega church type shit. You know what I mean? Like you've been preaching holy for all this time, but you got private jets. Mm. You got a mega church. You getting a hundred thousand dollars to two hundred thousand dollars a week. Mm. And, Smelling and, like boy, but and offer and and just communion and shit. You can't tax the Lord, and you can, and you're not paying taxes. Niggas are like they're yeah. coming at you. Like they're gonna you're gonna get a, a couple accusations of yeah. you a fake this and a fake that. But you can spend that like nigga. I bless so many people. God bless me. Yeah. Like I was many people. So I don't know. It's just that whole like, that whole mental health. It is. It's just, it, it's just a weak shot to me. You know what I'm saying? It's a weak shot. It's just niggas just trying to grasp onto anything that they can. Yeah. To diss a nigga, but it is interesting because before this book came out, he was supposed to be writing a book for up and coming broadcasters. He was. I he was supposed about to be that. giving like that was supposed to be his second. Entry. But he ended up talking about the book diverted off as he was writing it to this. Mm-hmm. We might not get that book till later. And I was yeah, I anticipating know. that book. I really wanted that. All right, so you kind of asked this earlier, but, like,